Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Welcome to another system comparison video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at this game, Super Off Road, released in the arcades by Letland in 1989. And it was a three simultaneous player kind of rip off of Super Sprint, but off road, featuring big, fat, bouncy trucks and nitros. Back in the day, I also thought it was made by Atari, but it was not. And I remember playing the arcade, arcade cab in Western Superman was really, really quite impressed with it. You know, three analog wheels all next to each other and an accelerator pedal, no brake, because brakes are for pussies, and a nitro button, and I really, really liked it. And then it was ported to all the home systems in 1990 by Virgin, uh, Virgin Mastertronic, so we're talking ZX Spectrum, um, Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore, and Amstrad, and I don't think, apart from the 16 bit, they're any good, really. I mean, I played the Spectrum version, and what were they thinking? It's monochromic. Every car, or truck, I should say, is the same colour. Now, obviously, dependent upon the region or the territory you lived in, when this got ported to the home versions, it became Ivan, Iron Man, Stewart's Off-Road Challenge? I don't know. <clears throat> Apparently he was big in the sport. All I know was in 1989, however big he was, Ickle Me in Ickle Old England. i never even heard of the bloke. But I never played it on the Mega Drive. Supposedly it's a really, really good version. I'm playing this on my Mega Drive Mini for this half of the comparison video. And I heard it's got, you know, it's supposedly by some people considered to be the best 16-bit version. We will wait and see on that front. But yeah, I never played it on this, and so that'd be quite interesting to try. I did, however, play um, an imported SNES version from America, so that would have been Ivan Iron Man Stewart. <laughs> Super Off Road Challenge or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, once we were past Mega Drive days, we were in Super Famicom imported territory. The same kid who followed route and got a Japanese Mega Drive is me, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. Did the same thing with the Super Famicom. However, he was so spoiled. You know, one of those kids that plays his parents off against each other after they get divorced. I don't know why I'm telling this, but it's all part of the story. He'd get any game he wanted, but he'd have so many games he'd get bored of them, and I'd buy them off him after I usually borrowed them off him. And this was one, and I absolutely loved it. I haven't played it in years, but I remember the audio being absolutely fantastic. So this will be very, very, very interesting to see how they compare. I didn't bother playing the arcade version because of running on main, like all the button mapping and trying to steer the car, truck, whatever, Ivan Iron Man Stewart's car. Uh, it's bloody impossible. So anyway, I've waffled enough. Let's get into giving the Mega Drive version a crack. This is 1992, I believe. So 1989, arcade, 91 says, 92 this, and 1990, all the version stuff that's irrelevant. Boom, let's go. Right, that's bar ugly, but we're not here for that. Press start, so it's two player. Uh, enter a name. I'm not going to put in my initials because I don't like my middle name. And I don't want to give you the chance to guess it. Uh, right, start. Nope, A. <clears throat> Choose button for acceleration. See, no brakes, brakes for pussies. Just like real life, downtown Bristol. Uh, it's worse than we speed bumps and chicanes. A. So you press start. B. Nitro. Press uh, start. Music. It's empty and voidious. Look at that. That's proper titillating stuff back then in 1992, that is. Right, music on. We'll go with the music. I quite like the music on this. From what I've heard so far, I should say. Uh, so, gives you money and you go to your speed shop. Sounds like a euphemism for where you would buy your stuff before you went clubbing in the 90s. Allegedly. We're going to go with acceleration, 80k. How much? I got what, 100,000? And then. Can, can I go with two? And then you just ram up the rest with nitros. 40. Nope, we're going to have to go with that. But during the game, you can earn stuff, collect stuff, and the more money you make, the more shizzle you can do to your 4x4 uh, jizzle. See, see what I did there, because it's a Jeep. I don't know, truck. Let's go. Start next race. 
Right, straight into it. No guff around. I like that. Very small graphic, but very nicely animated. Nice graphics, I would say. Oh! Bouncy, bouncy. He's got a nitro bastard to compare that game. See? I love it when you nitro like that. Because just... You go like that. Hey! I have the money, you crapper. You just go like a pimple. It's part of its charm in the arcades. It's not really much to it. Fuck off. Um, him. There's not really... Ass! Yeah, there's not really much to it. It's just a free-for-all, but stuff like this, when you've got your mates in tow, I'm out of Nitro, it's just fun. Now, I haven't played this game, period, in years. I've never played the Mega Drive, and that's the, the, the excuse or the reason I'm using for being shite at it. That's the thing, though. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's like Super Sprint. The scope for going utterly the wrong way and ballsing up, especially with the mechanic of bouncing off the other cars, is uh, it's what makes it fun, free-for-all. It's kind of like Hungry Hungry Hippos, but in truck form. I have no idea why I said that. I've got no money. See, I've got no money! Oh, no! Right. I wonder if I start at the front. It's the redneck music! <clears throat> I've got some money. Does it? Oh, that's awesome music! <coughs> Excuse me. It's the fumes. No catalytic converters back then. There's something very eastbound and down about that. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey! Oh, the horn goes! Uh, because you've seen the pit girls. See what I did there? No, the horn goes because I got the money. Now, obviously, they're all going to slaughter me because I couldn't upgrade my car or anything like that. <clears throat> and I'm a shit driver. Oh, look at that! Oh, bollocks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Yay! Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sick, don't worry, it's not the coronavirus. You don't need to go batshit crazy, hit your local supermarket and buy all the toilet paper. <clears throat> and hand sanitizer. Yeah, when they're in a video game commentary. Right, one more track. It's a little bit more fruity, you know, when it comes to bouncing off the walls and shit, than I remember. I can only... There we go. Point yourself in a straight line and engage. Ooh, nitro to nitro. What the fuck? <coughs> it's because you got that weird rotation thing that once you go full circle, full lock, it kind of goes the other way. I don't know. That's the excuse I'm using. Hey! Look at this! Bam cowboy! Can you narrow? Can you narrow? Basically, see, it's done it again. What the fuck? You hit the side and then it it fucks you up. <coughs> I call emulation. I need to make a drive mini. <coughs> Come on. Come on, Haggish. Points for that quote. Well, at least I'm not last. But yeah, that was weird. You got this weird kind of thing. You get stuck on the side and then it flips the, your wheel all the way around. But other than that, quite fun, quite interesting. I like the music, nice graphics, you know. Um, tight is gameplay, but how tight can it be when you bounce into people and walls and all the obstacles and it makes you go like a pinball? Anyway, let's try the SNES version. So here we go with Super Off-Road running on the snares. Only it's running on my JXD Retro Mini Arcade because I just like throwing as much as, as I can at this system to see how well it performs. Obviously, in comparison to the Mega Drive, this is running in 16x9 and I can't change that. However, and it is a Super Off-Road version, so, um, sorry, um, Ivan Stewart, no soup for you. Ooh, little nice animation in the bottom right-hand corner. So yeah, this is running in 16x9, but... Um, I do recall, doesn't the SNES have a different resolution to the Mega Drive and so, and how it crops the screen or such? Hence the fact that you could see all the Mega Drive track in, you know, the Mega Drive version. But here, even though it's stretched to 16 by 9 um, you will see that, like, the bottom, the, on the left-hand side of the screen, the bottom, the bend is cut off, a bit of the other bend is cut off, and on the right-hand side, it, it, the top bit of the bend is cut off. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Other than that, I would say that it's bigger sprites, bigger cars. This is exactly as I remember it. The music, on the other hand, 
I know a lot of people like the fact that the Nair sounds more orchestral or more closer or akin to real life music or as real life as it can as a video game console from the 90s. I've always preferred the Mega Drive because I've always liked that kind of more restricted to how games sounded in the arcade. That's, if that makes sense. Although I will say this, I do remember this when I first played it back in the day in 1991. Um, that guitar, you know, dude, it's making the guitar talk. Uh, point of the quote. Yes, I just remember being absolutely blown away. Right, so it's only two player as well as you would expect. Let's get into it. But because I'm playing on the JX Mini Retro Arcade Mini, uh, I've got to work out what the buttons are. But anyway, I'm sure. <clears throat> Start. Then I'm um, the red truck. The red car and the blue car had a race point to that quote. Select. Alright, so that's the first. This bit here just reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. That's not a bad thing. Right. I mean, you could argue technically it's better music, but it's what you like and what you're used to. And I just prefer Mega Drive music, again, because it sounds more like the arcade. I do like that S. <coughs> right. <coughs> Excuse me. And that sounds like Go West Young Man. Screw it. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've only got two. Well, let's hope that acceleration, which cost me 80 grand, um, is stiff stuff. Get ready. Oakley doakley. Right, on the red truck. Oh, it's a shame you can't change the settings on this little, you know, tabletop arcade unit, because I would like to see what it looks like in 14 by 9. Ooh! Bouncy, bouncy. Dare I say, maybe because it's 16 by 9 or the, you know, the, I don't know, it feels bigger. And also, the elephant in the room is, why are the tracks in a different order? What's the deal with that? Did I miss something? It's one, I mean, by all means, I'm out of nitro shies and correct me, but is one of these more accurate in the port of the arcade than the other? You could argue when you're basically bouncing around, oh, tits frisky like this, hitting the walls, hitting opponent cars and obstacles, and, you know... <clears throat> then does it really matter the order of the tracks or how accurate the tracks are to the arcade because let's be honest the fun here look at him going the wrong way oh that's a nice touch uh look at him the ai's gone batshit crazy it's skynet oh he managed to turn around it's not skynet he's just a shit driver did i win i don't know but yeah you can argue with the order of the tracks or accurate the tracks are to the arcade is second place to how it plays and oh my god they're all mingers and look at them I thought they were weird looking dudes, dudettes, in the Mega Drive version, but they're all mingers and munters here. And why did everyone in there look like they were wearing an Adidas tracksuit from the 80s? Like some bad knockoff <coughs> Run DMC wannabe. Hopefully I can... Oh, bollocks! I want to get some Nitro. I hope we can get there again and see it, but, you know. Do you know what? <coughs> I say this plays a little bit better than the Mega Drive version. <coughs> Excuse me. No, he's done it to me! But you could argue that the Mega Drive version put me on quite a difficult track right the way, right the way at the start. Because in this version, I've been fenced in, haven't I, for these two tracks? What a feature! Yoink. Yoink. Oh man, I remember the fun I used to have playing this with my brother. And the thing is, because it's, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, I'm sure people are screaming at the screen when I say this and just go, I was fucking boss at this game. Um, but I wouldn't really say that skill was a massive factor in this. It's, you know, as I mentioned before, with the bouncy bouncy, it's a massive amount of luck, which I apparently don't have any of. You know, I, I think I prefer the colours on the Mega Drive. This is very orangey. I mean, I've never seen one of these events, so I don't know if that's a nice touch, how accurate it is to, you know, what they race on. But this is like racing on a Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, it's holding the button down so we can't see that. Wipe out. Oh no, 90s dude. These screenshots are friggin' awful. Continue, one more go. I'm gonna round up here, right? Um, do you know what? Both are extremely fun to play. The SNES is easier on the eyes because of the size uh, and I guess the resolution, um, even though it's 16 by nine and I don't want 16 by nine. The Mega Drive's got better music. I would say better colors, a little bit sharpness of the sprites, even though, you know. Oh, they're smaller. But pretty much the, the playing experience pretty much identical, isn't it? It goes to show that, you know, an arcade machine like this, it doesn't really matter who ports it. It's such a simplistic game design overall that, you know what? 
<clears throat> are you going to balls it up? Well, that's a stupid question. I tell you, you balls up games now. This was made these days. Give it an EA. There's your answer to that. But yeah, simple is as simple does. Just get, you know, anywhere near to uh, the feeling of the arcade. And you're Jim Dandy. So yeah, do you know what? I'm going to pretty much bang him on, on a tie. See, it's somewhat easier to play on the SNES, but ultimately... See, look, they're all knockoff DJs. Ultimately, they, they, they play exactly the same. They've got mechanics bang on. I guess it's just a case of visually which one you prefer. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Did you play this in the arcade? Did you play either of these versions? Or play neither of these versions and just know it from the arcade? Or did you play the Spectrum, Amazon, Commodore, Amiga, or Atari ST? I'd love to know what you think. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.